Well, kia ora team. Welcome to my new uh, series. This is going to be a playthrough of the Wintermute um, storyline, which comes with the Long Dark survival game. I previewed the Long Dark on my uh, first look, first hour uh, gameplay series, and um, and I was I was intrigued. Um, I, I like I like the idea. It seems like a good story. Um, seems like a good um, seems like it's a good game. And um, I did a little bit of additional look online in terms of the survival aspects of the game. And um, there seem to be a ton of different maps to play. Uh, with varying degrees of difficulty in various bits and pieces, which um, which makes the survival element of the game um, quite interesting, I think. Uh, but I'd like to play through Wintermute. Um, I hope that takes us through a whole tutorial about things and gives us some of the background, and, and we get to get a feel for the lore of the place we're in before we jump into the survival series side of things, um, which will probably be um, the next thing that I decide to do, depending on how Wintermute goes. Of course, uh, I could get through it and decide it's not for me. Um, I'm not interested in it. Um, but hey, we will take it from there. So yeah, if, you, um, if you're if you not sure, uh, by all means, go have a look at the first look, first hour. But I will generally be covering, covering exactly the same here. Um, as you know, PlayStation and the uh, PlayStation Share Factory Studio um, limit you to being able to provide one hour of uh, edited footage. And given that this is mostly going to be a playthrough, uh, for the most part, it's probably going to go with one hour of actual game play. I don't know exactly how much the game takes in terms of hours to play, um, but for now, we'll sort of see how it goes. I'm sure there'll be some repetitive stuff later that can be edited out. But for now, let's get stuck in.
the Joker. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Right. Let's get into it. Chapter one. <clears throat> memories, memories. Right. Here we go. So, um, if you pick things up, um, you need to just get their name. Take, take, take. We need some tinder. Take, take. We need the matches. Take. It's everything we need from here. Click on the stove. Start a fire. We've got everything that we need. So all we have to do is start the fire. There we go. Right, explore the hangar. Here's a map here, Great Bear Island. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days, since the quakes and all. Nothing of use for us here. Can't pick up or look at or drink anything else. It's got a door. Hanger. Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere really. Damn, that's right. Pipes froze up again. <sighs> Cheap electric crap. Never works when you need it. Shame. Can't go out the door. Right, a stuff. Ladders. Some kind of loading bin. Some kind of compressor. Storage. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Kid. Cardboard box, you know, thing stuff. Those were better days. Right, let's take a nap. Who could that be? Jackrabbit remote transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn Whoa, well, well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. But the weather service... It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh... uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? 
Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, when it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you in some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Let's see. Two people, plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Indeed. I wonder how much of this stuff we can take with us. <coughs> I think I could take it. Give it a try. I don't know if any of this stuff uh, makes it through. Candy bar? Eat it. Don't know if it'll help. We can always try now, right? This is our radial menu. Driven off the left stick. L1 left stick. Things that are happening. Stuff that's going on. <clears throat> Things we can possibly make. Things that we currently have. Clothes that we're currently wearing. Afflictions that we currently succumb to. Now then, there's nothing in here, didn't I, once upon a time, see? Yes, I didn't. Do we want our herbal tea? What's herbal tea do? Medicinal. Let's take it. Got what we need in here. Can't take our mobile. Can't take our booze. Can't take any tools. I feel like there used to be fuel in here. And maybe it was random. Yeah, it was, because it was right there. <clears throat> right, okay, so this is Astrid's bags. A serious case. They need to come with us. Astrid. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Backpack. Wherever she's going. And. Must not be planted. Water, energy bars, purification. We tablets. need food, right? Let's Breakfast see what we can champions. Load up into the plane, shall we? 
Right. Astra's gotta go. That's Just gotta go. My That's go. gotta go. That's it. Can't really fill anything else. We're done. Get our coat. And we are out of here. Right. Let's yeah, get the heck out of here. Right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Yeah, yeah, mostly. Right. Let's um. Let's pick up some stuff. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need some wood. Need some first aid. I'll break this down. I'm gonna get some firewood going. Some, there's some stuff over here. I got our Can't feel my trusty feet. matches and some things. We're getting cold fast, Damn, that's and and we're hurt. Where where are we? Let's take that. <clears throat> there we go. Temperatures dropping a lot. So let's let's get inside and make a fire. <clears throat> and we can concentrate on getting ourselves healed a little bit. And um, and once we're healed a little bit, we'll um, move on. Right, so start a fire. Sorry, start a fire. 
here we go. Yep, should be able to put one here. I put one here before. There we go. Uh, doesn't like it this time. That'll do. Start fire. Chance of success, 55%. Chance of success, 95%. Right, so... <clears throat> Good, we're good, we're good. I don't feel so good. Yeah, I know you don't. I need let's, to rest up. Well, let's get the first aid sorted, shall we? We need bandages, so we need that hand fixed. And we need to drink something. Could be good. And apparently we don't have enough for... Got, what do we got? A recycled can. Uh, oh, we could probably use that for water, but we've already drunk something. So... What is our afflictions currently? <coughs> we need to get some more things to sort out our medical condition. Um, our temperature bar on the left the little thermometer is, as you can see, in the red. Um, the campfire is going to burn out, so let's pick up some more wood from around here. That's some first aid. I got some sticks you can pick up because we need to keep this fire going. Let's go back and feed the fire. Oh, it's gone out. There we go. That's probably enough. Nine hours. That is plenty. Temperatures rising, temperatures rising. There we go, we're back in the white. Our water's good. So yeah, so symbols on the left. You've got your um, heart, which is obviously um, down below half because, you know, we're supposed to be badly injured. Uh, you got a temperature, which is, as you can see, three up arrows means it's going up quite well. The one next to it is tiredness, which is going down, so we're half awake, half asleep. Um, then we got water, uh, which is dropping, but it's not bad. And then stomach for food, which is, we're fine. Um, for now, um, but what I want to do is uh, first off, probably want to use the. Still don't have enough cloth for crafting. Is that right? Let me just check that. Why can I not check that? I thought that was what I needed to check. No, let's check that. We should be able to craft a bandage. Yeah, begin crafting. Right, let's sort ourselves out. Got two bandages, we can do that. <coughs> and we can do that. <gasps> And I think we're going to need to do another one. We can definitely craft some more bandages. There we go. Left hand. This treatment did not do anything. Uh, sorry. So, well, that's pain. We need, we need painkillers for that. So, there you go. So, we're warm enough. Uh, I don't think there's any painkillers around here. Uh, but let's, let's go have a look. Because I don't know if, uh, we can pick up some spare things. We might need, you know, some sticks. 
and some kindling and some items. We'll have a little look around. Nothing down there. More sticks. Let's check some of these boxes. Is that a box? Cardboard box. Get a tender plug. Uh, what's what's this crate? Break down crates. You sometimes find things in them. Not on that one. Uh, nothing here. Some more sticks. Some more broken things. Some more firewood. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, it is pretty good. Um, the ravine. Uh, another box. Yeah, an accelerant for fires. See, something handy. Uh, got books. They're handy for tinder. Newspapers handy for tinder. It's just sticks. We're obviously getting cold again. Uh, been through that box. Right, I think that's everything here. So, so that's it. That's that's this bit of the area sorted. And um, we're back by the fire, keeping us nice and warm, 38 degrees. And um, yeah, move on to move on to the next bit. You can't do anything with these bones, which is a shame. Um, but move on to the next bit. We're going to have to go to sleep. Astrid hasn't come looking for me, which means she can't come looking for me because she's hurt. Or worse. Maybe. I better get back up to the crash site. Right. I wonder if that allowed me to pick some stuff up. <clears throat> this is my backpack. So let's see what we got. We have got uh, accelerant cloth books. We got. We got our clothes, which I do believe we're wearing. I think green means it's already equipped. We got some a can, which we can melt snow in if we need to get water, or um, cooking canned foods. We've got matches, socks, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, we've got our fire starting stuff, our first aid stuff, clothing stuff, food and drink, tools. Oh, we got, I uh, didn't realize we had that. We now have a scrap metal shard. That was the nasty thing that was in our hand, obviously. And uh, materials that we can craft with. That's what we're wearing. We don't look super hot. Where's my jacket? And no affliction, so we've gotten over the pain. Um, and this is just our room. Um, Glossary, etc. So, daylight. Let's get out of this ravine. Did we miss anything? I don't think so. Sticks and things, but nothing major. Let's get out of here. I could probably climb that. Probably could. I like the wood though. I don't want to burden myself unduly. Starting to get a bit hungry, right? These are rose hips. He used to make a tea that manages pain, which is good. I don't know how much we need, but we can grab some. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make it. I think so too. A 
proper old plane. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Definitely the plane. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Right, so, hey, there's my parka. We got some supplies. There's my pain pills. I think I can use this. Orange soda. Let's take it. Uh, cloth. Um. I've been looking for you. Black coat. Go to the clothing and equip clothing items. Okay. What's that one? Clothing. It appears to be equipped. Take off, take off. Uh, these are undergarments, I guess? No, these are legs. Legs, torso. Some kind of over jacket? Got our shirt, our sweater, our jacket. We've got two types of hat. Etc. Yeah, we're all we're all done. Her Astrid's backpack. Back. What's in her backpack? Take that. Mittens. Antibiotics is good. Did we put the mittens on? Tell me we put the mittens on. We did. The mysterious case. Locked. Yeah, I know, but three code lock? I mean, you could break that quite easily, right? Three code lock? Whatever's in this case, 45 Astrid minutes. ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Right. Here we go. Some more bits and pieces we're going to need. Food. So, I mean, just a little tip there if you're going to bring things, obviously. Um, you find enough cloths, I think, to... Um, sort yourself out yes. at the crash site so you know bring food why not right so I'm not super freezing I'm refreshed um, I'm hydrated I'm currently a bit hungry so let's 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 sort that I think that's our food we have a moldy granola bar an energy bar an energy bar an energy bar an energy bar that 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 we may as well eat because why not but it's not going to be enough so let's have a decent energy bar while we're at it right I feel a bit better about life the universe and everything <coughs> let's see what's in here hey a down vest down foot layer that warms court uh, wool socks tough and warm and some more cloth. Right, let's see what this does for our clothing situation. Uh, not a lot. How do I... Did I not pick a uh, down vest up? I mean, I guess... Where is... There we are. So... That. Where does that... Go with this... I can't do anything with it because it's hers. Actions. Sewing kit is required to repair. Uh, what else did I pick up? I picked up these. What's the story with these? They also need repaired. Is that why I can't use them? So. Oh no, they all need repaired. But I can't wear them. Uh, you have no clothing. I don't fully understand. I'm wearing those, so if I can wear them, it's... I can't wear the down vest. Oh yeah, look, I can swap. But that has... Plus 1.3 cc against the cold, plus 1.3 against the wind chill, 30%. Against the rain, 3% protection, minus 4% for running, 66% repair uh, quality, and weighs 1.25. This is a lot less of everything, um, and it's in lesser quality, but it is lighter, so there's not a lot of point in putting that on. Um, and these must be... Uh, 
I don't know, I guess you can wear two things here. Not sure. Yeah, there we are. Legend, condition, weight, warmth, windproofness, waterproofness, protection, sprint. Right, so, there we are. We're looking good. Warm, rested, slaked. We are peckish. Calories count 1600. Air temperature is minus 9, wind chill minus 3. It feels like it's cold. We got a warmth bonus, a windproof bonus, protection sprint. We got a collection of things, which, you know, I've been through here. I think obviously this is uh, actions sharpen. I need a whetstone to sharpen that. Um, there's things that we can make. Currently got two bandages. Um, it's not a lot. We need 24 rose hips. Okay, got tender plugs. Well, we could make tinder plugs. Um, carrying stuff. Uh, let's do that. Let's make some things. It's probably easier to carry smaller things than carry a lot of things, right? I mean, tinder plugs we need. I don't think we need newsprint. Our objectives, look for clues, uh, stuff about stuff. There are things, and there are other things. Right, clues. Where did we come from? We came from over there. I think we want to go over here. What's this? A flare. Loud enough to scare wildlife. That's good. Good to know. Right. I already said I need 24 of these, so let's get some more. Another 8. I think that takes us to 24. Another crate. Wait! What is this? She definitely passed through here. And in a hurry. So what you're saying is she could have come looking for you. Maybe. Right. Let's get a wriggle on. Don't think there's anything over here. Let's have a little nosy. Um, sprint is R1, by the way, if you don't know. Have a little run around. Run around. No, I didn't go up here last time. I wonder what's up here. Anything? Nope. Find and equip small stones to throw at rabbits. Yeah, we tried this before. Um, equip it. And then um, L2 is aim. Yeah. Trying to get them at a distance is probably going to be hard, isn't it? Oh, come on, I nearly hit him. How long do you keep it up for? Come on, pick him up. I got him. Sorry. Life is cruel. But now I got a bunny rabbit. So, let's see what that looks like. Is that food? Not yet, it's not. Uh, let us see. So, where do you appear, my little thing? You are food. What do I have to do to you? Harvest. 
So I've got scrap metal. I can harvest them for meat, hide, and guts, I think. Let's do that. Nothing to harvest. I don't understand. What do you mean? Select amounts. Oh, you can take things. All of it. I just take all of it. You never know when you might need some rabbit. Right. So we've got now, we've got some flesh from a rabbit, which we can cook. And obviously we have uh, guts. Can be used for crafting and repair after air drying indoors. And hide. Crafting and repair after air drying indoors. Right. Excellent. Oh, man. Tis getting dark, though. Let's Where'd get out of the go? wilderness. And let's probably mind that wolf. Oh, is that a wolf? It sure I is. In the distance. Like some kind of radio tower. Sure does. It must be closer to civilization than I thought. <sighs> some more bunny wabbits. If you feel like chasing bunny wabbits again, um, I don't particularly. I don't think there's anything over here. Sticks and things. Which is fine. Down, is this rose hip? It is indeed. I'll pick up some more rose hips, maybe. I think I got plenty of those. Sticks and stuff, don't need to worry about. Now, there's a strange little cave down here. Which um, is easier to see in the daylight. Um, and I came through here in my first look, first hour, and um, and I was able to see into it. It's um, it's pretty dark at the minute, but I think I can see. That, is that came in here and it had coal in it? I can't s oh here it is coal I don't know the value of coal yet but I have a feeling I'm going to find out I have a feeling that there's a reason why it's here anyway I guess I must be feeling a bit loaded down I feel like I'm moving slower I am carrying a lot of junk. I do tend to p be a bit of a pack rat on these things. <coughs> what does my um, inventory look like? Just out of interest. I am at uh, 15 kilos of 30. I would have thought a big guy like Mackenzie wouldn't have had a problem. But you never know. There's nothing here, no buildings here. Can't get up there. No. Monsieur Le Dead oh. Guy. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Pain pills? Great. A town. Maybe I can find help there. Maybe. Sound of wolves. Always ominous. Did that hurt me? That's 
bit weird. Hurt me? It's cold out. Let's climb down. Chimney. That means someone's home. Sure does. Hello? Anyone out there? And obviously what this guy. Here? I do believe there's a hatchet. Good for cutting woods and things. Dead guy and a house. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. So let's blood. Yeah, nothing happening outside of Milton right now. It's cold. Let's uh let's go inside, shall we? Hello? Let's Anybody have a here? conversation. Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy <laughs> shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I... I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Where are we? Milton. A forgotten town, deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But, uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor 
or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? Yes, she is. Then there is always hope. The bad men, did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak, but they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here, one of the townsfolk, tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot, foolish plan. But that's what they said to do after the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, Go to the coast, and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Okay. Any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. 
It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Well, there we are. So, we'll, um, we'll wrap that up here, moving on into Chapter 3 with the Grey Mother. And um, we'll pick up from here uh, next time, and we'll find out what else she has to say. So, yeah, let's carry on. Hope you like it. Stay tuned. Click the like button, subscribe, drop me a comment. As always, ta-ta for now. PlayStation.